Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's edition of Daily Stand-Up. Without any further ado, let's get started. I'm Lee Henson, president and founder of Agile Dad, and I am a certified Scrum trainer through an organization called the Scrum Alliance. And uh, the Scrum Alliance has been the leader in the industry for a number of years, providing Scrum certifications for Scrum masters, product owners, leadership, and other venues. But today's email uh, is one of interest. Someone asked me specifically, they said, you know, um, I work in a technical field, in a technical environment, and I'm very interested in achieving my PSM, my professional Scrum Master from Scrum.org. They asked me, how do you feel about the certification, and do you think it's worthwhile? And then the next question was the one that shook me, and I said, when will you be teaching that class? And I sat and thought about it. And I said, you know, I know a fair amount about the requirements for a PSM. I know what the class is like. Uh, I know some people who teach the class. I know they're great people. I know the class has strong uh, connection to the Agile Manifesto. And I know that it has a rather rigid test. I said, but, you know, I haven't firsthand experienced these things. I said, so in order for me to be able to answer these questions about the PSM specifically, I better go and, you know, read up on a manifesto and at least take the test. You know, I tried to take a course, but unfortunately, there wasn't one on a time frame that would allow me to do it before posting this episode. So um, I did go back, though, and study the manifesto thoroughly and study some other documents and proceed to take the test. Uh, I'm happy to report that after, you know... uh, After the first try, I was able to get 96.3 on their exam, which isn't a bad score. Not bad at all. Uh, But what I found was something very interesting. You know, I'm not certain whether it was the intent of Scrum.org to make this test tie so strongly to the values that the approach felt very rigid and dogmatic, or whether it was their intent to make sure that you really understood what the rules of engagement were so that if you were going to be flexible anywhere, you understood what the consequence might be, which I'm leaning more towards the latter. You know, I feel like Ken and Jeff have always done a fantastic job when it comes to pulling things together and to you know, uplifting the community and providing high quality standards within the Agile and Scrum community. But this particular certification really, really you know, was, I got to be honest, it was more rigid and difficult than I thought. Uh, You know, having teach this, having, you know, having a a number of years teaching a CSM and having taught thousands of CSMs and certifying them, what I can tell you is that this really piqued my interest because when I took the test, I was expecting it to be a breeze. And I can tell you right now, there are many questions that required thought-provoking responses. There are many questions that require multiple answers. What are the top three? What are the top two? Uh, There are many answers that were better than just true or false. Um, Did I feel that there may have been some trickery behind the scenes as far as, uh, you know, trying to sway you to answer one way or another, kind of like the PMP exam? Sure there was. Uh, You know, there's always some bias there. But did that mean that it prevented our ability to successfully complete the test and get a passing score? Absolutely not. I think that anyone who has successfully practiced Agile for some time should be able to go into Scrum.org and achieve a level one certification, either as a Scrum Master or a product owner, by simply taking the test. You know, I don't know that a class is required in order for you to do that. Now, the second part of the question asked me about credential weight. Does the PSM hold the same weight as the CSM? And quite honestly, I'm going to say yes. I think that across the board, it does hold the same weight. However, you know, it's all about perception. And I think that in the environment where employers are looking for the certification, you know, in the past, it was very specific that people were looking, you know, uh, specifically for CSM, for Certified Scrum Master. But now what I'm starting to see is uh, some employers, uh, specifically West Coast, are looking for any level one certification as required and a level two certification as preferred. So an advanced CSM or or a second level, you know, uh, PSM, PSM two. So uh, if you're trying to get a better job or trying to renew what you're trying to do or trying to see just how much knowledge you know from a from a contextual basis, I feel like PSM really does give you a strong framework. It gives you good alignment. It gives you a strong test. 
so that you can validate against to see, hey, where is my level of expertise? You know, am I in the right place? Do I have my head in the right place? Do I understand Scrum? Because I think what happens in many organizations is we get so tied up with uh, not being rigid that we end up practicing things that aren't at all part of the Scrum framework. And it causes us to deviate from what we should be doing and causes a series of mistrust and other things to happen within the organization. So in a nutshell, to summarize, PSM is a strong certification. It has a strong test. I enjoy taking the test. Uh, I do not currently have my PST, Professional Scrum Trainer, although I don't think it would be a bad idea. Maybe I'll petition and see if it's something that I can do. Uh, you know, I'd love to diversify my portfolio so that I can offer all of you, you know, whatever, you know, certifications that you might be looking for so that we can work together to help change the world for the better. And I know that sounds so hokey, but it's true. I think that if we engage and we focus our attention on the things, the keys that are going to be there, and instead of looking at a certification as a way to get the letters behind my name to get the job, and looking at the certification as a means for me to provide a higher quality, deeper dive into a specific topic, I think that we're going to do a whole lot better for ourselves, for the community, and for our employers. And I think that, you know, the one thing that I love the most about the CSM that I missed from the PSM, and perhaps it's because I didn't take the class, is that that level of intellect and stories that comes from a highly seasoned agile trainer and coach, and in this case, a scrum trainer and coach who who can you know really you know relate and tell you about things in a real world setting. You know, hey, you know this is what the book says, but let me tell you a story about what I saw. And I think that that has so much rich, rich guidance. And um, I know that when you start teaching the uh, PSM in a classroom setting, that the materials are delegated to you, that, uh, that they're already pre-created and that you're using those pre-created materials, which I feel is fine because it keeps consistency across the board and allows everyone to have a similar learning experience. But I also feel that sometimes with that rigidity that you're missing out on the most powerful piece, and that's the connection between what you're trying to learn and what you should be doing. Uh, so overall, everything's good, and I'm happy that I had the opportunity to do this, and I'm happy that you know uh, that one of my colleagues extended the challenge to me to go find out about it, because I'm a big believer that if you don't learn and don't do it yourself, then you have no business talking about it. So on behalf of the team at Agile Dad, you know, we hope that you've enjoyed this podcast. We encourage you to uh, you know, listen to other episodes. We have tons of episodes out there that cover varying topics. This week we're answering your letters, but uh, or emails in this case. But uh, you know, the most important thing uh, is for you to stay healthy, stay well, and stay agile. Until next time, my friends, take care.